Hello agents and welcome back to another division build video. Today I've got a quite exciting one for you because it's been a long time in the making. Although it's just an assault rifle build, getting hold of this assault rifle, which I think is the best assault rifle in the game, can be an absolute nightmare. In some cases this can be harder to get than the Ravenous or the Eagle Burrow from the Raids. It's definitely one of the hardest guns to get hold of in the game. And here it is. It's the Carbine 7. Now, the real, real strange thing about this gun is that it always drops with the same talent. As you can see here, it always drops with the talent overflowing. Now, I have gone months without seeing one of these things uh, with, on the third attribute, damage to target out of cover. I randomly found one in my stash. I have no idea where it came from. So I've been very, very lucky. And then yesterday I was just messing around in the DZ farming some landmarks and I got this one. It wasn't even AR targeted loot. Uh, and this one dropped. I ended up with two and I had nobody with me. I couldn't even give it to somebody. Uh, it's definitely, definitely, definitely very elusive to get. Uh, the, and that in itself is the problem because the talent always drops with overflowing. So if you want to get a good version of this gun, the third attribute needs to be damage to target out of cover. And as well, you really want it pretty well rolled. Otherwise, you're going to be throwing a lot of optimization materials at it to make it good. And essentially, this is what you're going to be looking to do. As you can see, I've optimized the top two here to make it a max roll. And then I put strained on it because that's my preferred go to damage talent on an assault rifle. If the RPM was above 800, uh, I would think about perhaps going with measured uh, or fast hands uh, would, as well, especially on a FAMAS. Fast hands on a FAMAS absolutely destroys. Uh, the reason at the moment I've got measured on this one is because I use it for PvP as well. But these will be my go-to assault rifles. Uh, this one because it's just best at everything. It's just really, really good. But if you're having some troubles and you've got some up close and personal stuff going on, I would switch to the FAMAS with fast hands and you would absolutely destroy. But to me, the Carbine 7 is the best assault rifle in the game. But like I said, unfortunately, it is pretty, pretty hard to get because for some reason they decided that it would always drop with this overflowing talent, which is absolutely trash. I'll show you the rest of the build that goes with it because I have spent the time to, to min-max this as well. First of all, we'll go and have a look at the specialization. I chose to go with Firewall. Now, there's a couple of good things about Firewall. Uh, the If you use the, the shield that it comes with, you can get an extra damage bonus for you and for your teammates if they stood behind you in the cone that appears. You want the striker shield on. And then if you spec into shotgun damage, you will get yourself a crit mod uh, as well, which I'll show you that on the gun in a second. And obviously you want to be spec'd into assault rifle damage as well. So let's flick over to the gun and have a quick look at the mods. As you can see, I spec for crit chance, critical hit damage. So you can see this is 10% critical hit damage mod from firewall. Usually you're only going to be getting a 5% mod. So I'm specking into Firewall for that extra shield damage and then specking into it for the extra 5% crit hit damage from this. Definitely worth it. And then we've got a critical hit chance muzzle on as well. Obviously we want some extra rounds in there. So we've got the 20 round mag in there as well. And the pink colouring just because I like to be a troll when it comes to the skins. If you were to look at my FAMAS, which I know this video is not really about this, but we'll take a quick look at it anyway. I've got crit hit damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and 20 rounds. And that actually might be wrong, so let's have a quick look at the stats. So when you see here, on the Carbine 7, I've got a, exactly 60%. Uh, uh, and I can show you this by, if you go into here, and we'll change this chance to damage. And I'm expecting 55. Yep, there we go, 55. I'm going to put that back to chance because you always want to, to be critting as much as you possibly can. So definitely get yourself to that 60% cap for the most damage. 
as you can see, I'm exactly 60%. I've got 192.9% critical hit damage because one of my mods is 11.9%. 90% headshot damage, 21% health damage, and then a bunch of the other stats that you'll see in a second on my gear. For this, I've chose to run three piece Providence, a Fenris mask, a group or holster, and the Fox's Prayer knee pads. Fox's Prayer knee pads definitely best in slot. As you can see, crit hit damage, damage to target out to cover. There's the multiplicative damage, I think we all know by now. And then some weapon damage. So you're definitely going to want them there. Now, for everything else, it's kind of up for grabs. I would recommend three Providence, a Fenris, uh, and a Groupo. If you're running in a group that's running different specializations, you want to flick over to the Contractor's Gloves, maybe. Uh, so if you've got them, they're definitely an option here. But generally, I just keep on this because it's the max crit damage you're going to be able to do with an assault rifle. Three piece Providence gives us headshot damage, critical hit chance and critical hit damage. As you can see, weapon damage is max, crit hit damage is max, my crit hit chance is max and there's my 11.9 mod. That 12% mod still eludes me. Getting three of them is the real end game in this game. I'm running perfect glass cannon because that's just how I like to roll. Uh, but obviously, if you're not comfortable with glass cannon, you can think about running something perhaps like spark or intimidate. Uh, but that would require bonus armor. Uh, spotter would be a good one, but then you were going to lower your critical hit damage. Because then at that point, you're not going to be able to use the attachment from firewall. So there's a few things that you need to think about uh, chest talent wise. Uh, what else have we got options wise? Uh, you could run obliterate. I know a lot of people are running that. That's going to get you 25% damage as long as you're critical hitting and you're going to be critical hitting a lot. That's probably the next best one to go to if you don't want to lower the damage too much. And you don't like the negative effect from glass cannon. But this is all about being having the maximum damage possible. So we're going to go with perfect glass cannon for this. In the glove slot, you can see maximum across the board, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. The bat pack is the gift, but it doesn't need to be the named uh, bat pack. Uh, there's only one second in between perfect vigilance and regular vigilance. And just at this point in the game where I played 3000 hours, uh, I wanted everything to be absolute min max. The OCD in me requires it to be min-max. Uh, but so obviously you could have these anywhere you want. This could be a Fenris backpack, for instance. As long as you're, you know, you've got the same attributes in there and you've got vigilance on the, you can switch all the brands around in any places. The only things that aren't interchangeable are the chest piece and the knees. Running a Fenris mask, you can see again crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and a critical hit damage mod. And then we're going to run a group or holster because group or one piece gives us 15% critical hit damage. And again, the max stats across the board on this holster. What I didn't mention was with the Fenris, one piece gives us 10% assault rifle damage. And that's why we are running that. Just to give you some ideas of numbers, but I'll put a mission run through at the end of this video, just so you can see what it feels like when running through on a heroic. But we're in the heroic range right now. And we'll just slap it on the invulnerable one. Get it up and close. So without any gun talents, you can see straight away though, we hit for a mil. Nice number to start with. And then a 497. And then another mil. And obviously you can see that the gun talent now is creeping up on the side of the gun. And the damage is getting higher and higher. And then there you go. Those 1.13 mil crits with almost half a mil non-crits. Really nice. It just absolutely shreds. It's a shame you can't keep the gun talent up at all times. Obviously every time we reload we do lose it. But it doesn't take long to get there. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching everybody. What we'll just do, I didn't check my... Oh, so there you go, see, so on the FAMAS, I'm actually wrong. So 
I'm not doing the most damage I possibly could be there. So what I need to do is change that over to the chance mod. Just to be completely transparent with the build. And there you go. We can see now, yep, yeah, with the FAMAS, we are good. But to me, the Carbine 7, which this video is all about, is the best gun in the game. It's super laser. It's super precise with the shots. It hits hard. It fires very fast as well. 790 RPM. It's an absolute shining star of the game, but unfortunately it is really, really hard to get hold of. I farmed AR targeted loot without realizing I had one on a mule uh, for weeks on end uh, with multiple people and we, we never ever saw one. So good luck getting one agents. I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching the video. Come and check me out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle. You'll find me streaming there most days. I could be streaming there right now. Come over and say hi. Doing raid help and anything else division related. Give me a thumbs up to help out with that YouTube algorithm and comment down below. Let me know what your favourite assault rifle is. Uh, do you like something other than the Carbine 7? I'm definitely interested to see that. I used to be a big fan of the Honey Badger. Uh, so I would definitely be interested to see what your favourite assault rifle is. Stay tuned for more Division videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye. You're going to need to get the access codes to the vault to recover the item the hyena stole from Air Force One. Our hyena insider says whoever's posted in the old CEO's office will have a key card that should give you access to the vault. Looks like that key card is the one we were looking for.
Hmm. Wonder what that unlocks. Keep an eye out. Intercepted. It's a fucking division. Roach wants everyone back at headquarters. Vault's just up ahead. President out of the wreckage. Agent, you've got a new assignment. Find out where the president is being held and get him back. Sync Isaac with the bank security system. There should be a data center near the vault. Search query.
Search query finished. Subject located. It's President Ellis. I'll have a helicopter on standby to extract him. Allow lockdown procedure. Initiated. That doesn't sound good. Isaac, do you have a way out of the vault? Searching for a way out of the vault. Zero matches. Piece of shit wristwatch. Okay, let me see. If you can punch through the west wall, there's a maintenance tunnel running alongside your position. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we got. Isaac, plot a path to the president's location. My lighting most expedient route. Son of a bitch, it actually worked. Thanks, Isaac. Piece and get him on comms. Heads up. To your location, coming in over the edge. You keep your head down. We're gonna make a hole.
serious trauma. 